Welcome to the Adult Mental Health Unit. I came here not knowing what to expect, but I've made it to my day of discharge, learning quite a bit along the way. It wasn't what I expected at first, and I wasn't sure if I needed the help. As I look back, my stay was worthwhile, and I realize now I did need some help. Being on the unit isn't quite like home. I was given a roommate, but staff emphasized the need to work on my own issues, more so than making new friends or worrying about other people's problems. They addressed boundary issues with me, as far as no physical contact, no exchange of personal information, and keeping to my own space. I spent my time working on my own personal healing. Although I couldn't wear my own clothes, the scrubs were comfortable. It will be nice not to have dirty laundry to wash when I leave the hospital. I was able to bring in shampoo and some of my basic necessities from home, but most toiletries, towels, and clean linens were available to me on the unit. I just had to ask at the nurse's station. Like I mentioned, some things were a bit of an adjustment. The TV and the telephones were in the community area, not in my room. Fewer distractions in my room gave me more time to spend on other things, like learning healthy ways of taking care of myself. At the start of my stay, I was given a schedule of the programs. The schedule helped me find my way throughout the day. It seemed like there was something for everybody. I was surprised when I really enjoyed the groups. It was reassuring to me that staff here are committed to my safety. They do checks on all patients several times an hour, and they intervene quickly when any patient is not doing well or needs some redirection for any unhealthy behaviors. They check every patient room every shift to help maintain a safe and healthy environment. The director of the unit even makes rounds to visit with patients. The food was pretty good. After the evening meal in the dining room, a caterer comes in and checks on meal choices for the next day. I had a nurse and mental health associate available every shift to talk with me about my needs and provide me with information about many of the questions I had, including medications, side effects, coping skills, sleep, and more. The nurses encouraged me to speak up if there was further education that I needed. I was encouraged to speak up about my needs and was given the opportunity once an hour throughout the day to talk with staff. I was also made aware of my Bill of Rights during my stay. In my room, on the wall, I had a My Care board that listed my goals, members of my care team, and anything else that was important to me, or just on my mind. Staff came in and would update the board for me. I was given a green admission folder, which included the Managing My Recovery Plan. This plan helped me to identify a personal recovery goal and the steps that I felt I would need to take along the way. Working on this throughout my stay has helped me to recognize the resources available to me. The group, Illness Management and Recovery, really helped me with learning new coping skills, skills I can use outside of the hospital. Because of the things I learned, I felt a lot more confident preparing for my discharge. My social worker encouraged me to continue to update my recovery plan throughout my hospital stay and after discharge. It was recommended that I share this information with my support people. I met with the social worker most every day throughout my stay and worked on planning for a successful discharge, which involved planning how I would connect with my aftercare supports. We also talked about how I can learn new ways of dealing with my thoughts, feelings, and actions. I saw the psychiatrist daily. He would check in with me to see how I was doing with my medications and my progress. I found it helpful to create a list of questions before I visited with the doctor. There were other providers here to assess and address concerns while on the unit. For example, our unit director, nurse practitioner, and an addictions counselor are right on site. There is access to occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, registered dietitians, chaplains, and more. These people are there when you need them to address your needs or issues. I was encouraged to speak up if I had any such needs during my stay. 
I eventually found out there was a pretty nice gym to visit once it was okay for me to go off the unit. I was able to work off my stress with exercise equipment, basketball, and crafts. I met with the therapeutic recreational therapist to figure out ways of increasing physical activity. The program facilitators led the groups and encouraged healthy ways of developing coping skills. It was especially great working with the program facilitators on mindfulness, learning to stay in the present moment instead of ruminating on the past or worrying about the future. Visitors are encouraged, and hours for visiting are scheduled around the groups. Visitors are checked in by staff, and for safety and privacy, they need to lock up most personal possessions, including coats, purses, phones, and hats, among other things. Although my family was able to bring me some items while I was on the unit, I was surprised by how many things were considered contraband or unsafe. During my stay, I identified a support person who could help and encourage me along the way. At first, I didn't think I needed anyone involved. Later, I realized the value of support received from family, friends, or community resources. I know now I am not all alone. There are people out there that can help me stay on track with my recovery. I know it must be hard for others to watch me struggle. It has been helpful for my support person and I to receive education and work on communication with each other. The staff has also helped me to become more aware of the community resources that will be there for me when I leave the hospital. So here I am, day of discharge. I am almost as anxious as I was on my first day here. I wonder if I will be able to put everything I have learned to use. I am concerned about relapse, falling back into old patterns. But I'm also excited my supports and I have learned many new skills. I know that if I follow my plan, trust in my supports, and take it a day at a time, maybe even just one minute at a time, I will be on the road to succeed. If needed, I have a plan in place for emergency help. The staff here has told me that when I go home, I will get a discharge follow-up call. Earlier today, I met with my social worker and with one of the nurses to talk about my discharge plan. I was encouraged to have a support person present when reviewing my discharge plan. Two sets of ears are better than one, and it was nice to have someone else around to help in remembering everything. The nurse asked me if I understood my discharge plan and if I had any questions. We also talked about my medications. She made sure I had the money I would need to pick up my meds and that I had a way to get to my pharmacy. She encouraged me to call if I had any questions. As I look back at the days I have spent on the mental health unit, I do feel ready to leave. I have learned some new coping skills and have the tools for a successful recovery. I know who to turn to or who to talk to when I need support.